Governor Chris Christie makes his final decision. Will he or won't he? We have his announcement. So we have ordered the immediate release from prison of Knox Amanda. American Amanda Knox making the trip back home, the verdict that freed her and what could happen next. High in fat, high in cost? Which country's new tax led to a mad rush for things like butter? I must be crazy to be doing this. It took mad science to impregnate Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Junior, but now one researcher has come up with a way for men to enjoy pregnancy. Your independent news network starts right now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Bickle. Welcome to INN News. We begin with your vote 2012 and the final announcement everyone's been waiting for. Now is not my time. I have a commitment to New Jersey that I simply will not abandon. That's the promise I made to the people of this state when I took office 20 months ago to fix a broken New Jersey. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie makes it official. He is not entering the race for president. Top level Republicans have been pressing hard to get him to join, but Christie says he and his family decided it's not best for them right now, and he maintains he's committed to the Garden State. He's not ruling out presidential politics somewhere down the road. Meanwhile, an average of recent major polls show Mitt Romney and Rick Perry in a dead heat. According to Real Clear Politics, Romney slightly ahead, 23.3 to Perry's 23%. Herman Cain is third with 12%. Newt Gingrich is behind him with 9.8%. Rounding out the rest of the field, Ron Paul, 7%. Michelle Bachman, 5.5%. Rick Santorum, 2.8%. And John Huntsman with 2%. Amanda Knox is now headed home. The American exchange student whose murder conviction was overturned yesterday is preparing to leave Italy and return to Washington State. Knox was clearly overcome with emotion as guards led her out of the courtroom. The jury cleared the 24-year-old and her former boyfriend of the killing of British exchange student Meredith Kircher in 2007. Knox's sister calls her acquittal justice long overdue. We are thankful to the court for having the courage to look for the truth and to overturn this conviction. Family members of Meredith Kircher are upset by yesterday's ruling and say justice was not served. Really for us it feels very much almost like back to square one and the search goes on really to find out what, what truly happened. Prosecutors say they will appeal the ruling to Italy's high court. The court did uphold a charge of defamation against Knox for her wrongly accusing a club owner of the crime. The court sentenced her to time served and ordered her to pay compensation. A Florida toddler died over the weekend when the family's television fell on him. It happened in Port St. Lucie. Police say the one-year-old was climbing on the dresser where the TV was located. His death is being treated as an accident, but serves as a reminder to parents to make sure televisions and other heavy furniture are secured in a way that won't allow this type of tragedy. It appears Americans trust their local government more than the federal government. A recent Gallup poll shows nearly 70% of Americans have a great deal or fair amount of trust in their local government. Compare that to a CNN poll released last week that showed only 15% of Americans say they trust the federal government to do what is right always or even some of the time. That's an all-time low. Both polls were conducted last month. Time for Global News Now. In Pakistan, 13 people have been killed, eight others hurt in a roadside attack. Police say it was the work of a motorcycle gunman targeting Shiite Muslims, angered by the government's inability to stop sectarian violence. Protesters set a bus on fire at the hospital where the wounded were taken. Mexico is considering allowing temporary marriages. A proposed ordinance in Mexico City would allow engaged couples to decide how long their marriage will last. More traditional couples could still choose till death do us part, but those who don't expect to stay married forever could set an end date of as little as two years. The bill is designed to reduce painful and costly divorces. The Catholic Church says it finds the idea appalling. A Japanese researcher is giving men the chance to experience the joys of womanhood. A pregnancy simulator he calls the mommy tummy pumps warm water into a plastic bag that expands for the minute for taking men from normal to full term in just two minutes. 
four dozen balloons inflate and deflate to mimic the kicking or movements of a fetus. Each one is attached to a sensor, so the unborn child reacts to belly rubs and uncomfortable shaking. And yes, the breasts do get larger as well. Of course, the simulator has the luxury of leaving out morning sickness, cravings, swellings, and pain. The researchers say the idea is to help men empathize with pregnant women, not discourage the couple from having a baby. And that's your Global News Now. Well, the world's first fat tax went into effect in Denmark over the weekend. Foods containing more than 2.3% of saturated fat now cost more. A small package of butter is about 50 cents more and a bag of potato chips 12 cents more. This caused a buying frenzy right before the tax happened. A customer bought 30 packets of margarine. Another customer had 10 to 12 packets of butter in his basket. These are goods that can be frozen down, so those are hoarded right now. Danish research shows excessive consumption of saturated fats causes about 4% of the nation's premature deaths. Scientists say they can't wait to find out if paying more for fatty foods will actually curb people's appetite for them. Prince Harry is deploying to the desert this week for military duty, but he won't be heading to Afghanistan. Instead, he'll be training at an Air Force auxiliary field in southern Arizona. While there, he's expected to finish learning how to fly an Apache helicopter. He will also get a chance to fire a live missile for the first time. Prince Harry is expected to spend about two months in Arizona. He'll also train in Southern California. Well, did you notice something missing during Monday Night Football last night? Monday Night Football is not ready for some Hank Williams Jr. ESPN normally kicks off the Monday Night game by playing the song All My Rowdy Friends, written and performed by Williams. It pulled that song last night after some controversial remarks by Williams on a news program about the president, vice president, and Hitler. ESPN says it's extremely disappointed with those comments. Coming up next, been wanting a raise? Why some of you don't even need to ask your boss to get one soon. And from poison to pumps, one rocker is now a fashion designer to the dogs. That story and more coming up next on INN.